Yo, what up? Welcome back to another episode. Well, I actually filmed a separate intro for this video, but it kind of sucked. So instead, I just want to say thank you guys for reaching 500 subscribers on this channel. It's kind of a big deal to me. So yeah, that is really cool. Thank you guys so much. You're all awesome, each and every one of you. Okay. You remember watching The Force Awakens for the first time? If you were anything like me, you were probably pretty hyped. Here's this shiny new Star Wars movie where anything was possible. And then you watched it and you realized it was basically just A New Hope repackaged. Then you remember, you fucking love A New Hope. Well, that is kind of like this film. Confused? Yeah, so am I most of the time. So this is Rolly's Variochrome. It's a 35 millimeter color positive film and it's one of my favorites to shoot with. It was a limited release, but I firmly believe that if enough of us tweet Rolly directly, we can get this film back on the shelves. Here's even an example of what you can write. Dear Rolly, I hope this tweet finds you well. If you don't f***ing bring Vario Chrome back, I will find you and all of your loved ones and... Well, there you go. That's a pretty solid start. So it's up to you to bring it home. This film has become quite rare uh, since it came out in July of 2017. You might see the occasional eBay listing pop up, but otherwise it might be kind of hard to find. It was originally sold for $15, but I've seen it go for as high as 80 nowadays. And uh, yeah, I got this one for 30. I was gifted a roll of this stuff a couple years ago for my birthday. I ended up shooting it on an overcast day in San Francisco. From my own research, I'd say uh, this film leans heavily into the vintage look, kind of tipping itself towards teal or Thanos's ass purple when underexposed and kind of like a yellow orange when overexposed. And yeah, I mean orange. It looks like a f***ing Fanta commercial. It's like if someone took the uh, white balance slider in Lightroom and just cranked that bitch to orange. I don't know if you remember that scene in Blade Runner, but yeah. So there's a lot of speculation that this film is not really something new as Rolly kind of led us to believe, but actually an expired film of about 10 years or so. As legend has it, Rolly got their hands on a lot of whatever the crap this stuff is and uh, just repackaged it as a limited edition holographic film for suckers like me. But yeah, I don't think anyone besides Rolly really knows where it came from and God damn it, they are keeping that secret locked up. Seeking further enlightenment on the topic, I decided to pay a visit to one of the grandmasters of film, Caleb, the man who originally gifted me my first roll of Variochrome. This shit sucks. We decided to hit the streets of Chinatown and explore what was possible with this film. I shot the Variochrome with my Leica M3. And Caleb shot with my Mamiya 7. Variochrome can be rated from 200 to 400 ISO. I guess reportedly some of the early rolls of Variochrome had a DX code rating of 320 ISO, um, but it seems like it was later changed to 200 ISO. Regardless, I chose to shoot at 320. So I chose to leave the film border on some of these shots because I kind of felt like it completed the look a little bit more. Oh. 
I had heard that this uh, film handles the color red really well, and uh, after this photo sesh, I have to agree. Perhaps investigators of violent crime scenes should use this film. So, I fucked up when I shot this, so I don't know. I totally messed up while shooting this, uh, and I got like two good photos. Everything else was like super overexposed. Uh, I shot it in New York. I was really excited, and, and I spent 15 bucks on it, and it doesn't exist anymore, and now it's like $100. It had, um, I felt like it was like a warm tinge. It's, it depends on the subject, but it can be, it could look really cool, but more look, could, could look like ball sack. You know what? I don't know. I kind of like these now. Now that I look at them. I lied. I lied. I kind of like these. Maybe it's may, maybe at the time I was expecting the other type of slide film, and that's why I was like, "Oh, this sucks." But like, that's a, it's kind of a cool photo. Look at all those colors. They're like it's muted, but it's still like you know, it's actually kind of nice. You might have noticed some light leaks or kind of just general overexposure on some of these shots. Well, apparently I haven't learned after all these years that you need to rewind the film before you open the back of your camera or the bottom in this case for a Leica. Yeah, so I did that, realized the error of my ways and quickly closed it up again. Some of the shots were lost, most were salvageable. Yeah, that's kind of where the light leaks and overexposure is from. Perhaps one day I'll learn. But more realistically, I'll probably just keep f***ing up. So, that's that. Um, if you know something about this film that I didn't cover, uh, please feel free to leave a comment because I, as well as the two people who watched this video, I'm sure would love to learn. I really wish Rolly would come back and start making this film again, because it's definitely my favorite color positive film. Sorry, Ektachrome, you're still beautiful and I love you, but Variochrome is the one that got away, even though it doesn't really produce color accurate results, unless that's how your vision looks, in which case that's dope, but you should probably stop watching this video and go see a doctor. Okay, you can finish the video first. So Rolly, if you're watching this, please bring Variochrome back. I don't want to get on my knees and beg, but Damn it, if I have to, I will. See you guys on the next video.